Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Well, guess what? We went out and picked up the Greenworks 40 volt, 16 inch battery operated mower. Now, why did we do that? Look, a lot of mowers are getting very expensive these days, and not everybody can handle a 20 inch or a 21 inch. You know, here's the funny part that mower there is a beast, right? That is the Greenworks 60 volt Pro right but that thing is 85 pounds with the battery in it this is a lot less by the way in weight but it's also cost less it's small it's light it's easy to use and we thought there were people out there that would want to see a smaller lighter more affordable mower well we're going to go ahead and review this and we're going to go ahead and test it so let's go ahead and get started Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do our quick unboxing like we always do. There it goes. So you get this tiny mower, okay? Nice small mower. You get your booklets for your battery and your mower and everything. You get a 40 volt, 4.0 um, oh, amp hour battery. You get a charger and you get your bagger. All right, let me go ahead and put that together and then we'll take a look at it. Now, the mower does require some assembly. Hey, these are loose when you get them. So, you know, it's like a latch system. You just open it up and you loosen it or you tighten it. And then after that, you lock them in place. So that's not too bad. Good system so far. Looks like it's okay. Um, and then you've got, you got to take these off the handle. These two guys, you just have to unscrew them because when you put the extension handle on, you've got two settings. If you want, you know, longer, shorter. So you've got like two height adjustments as far as that's concerned. Okay, it's, you know, the angle, I should say, of the handle. So let me put this on and I'll show you. All right, I got the one side on. Let me go ahead and put the other side on so you can see. You just stick it through the hole right there. Take this little screw. And you're going to adjust it so that you get the, the tension that you can use. Some people, you know, this can be really tight and then all of a sudden you, you may get too tight. So that's it. Now we got both on. Let's take a look at the mower. You know, if the Greenworks Pro 60 volt had a baby, this is what the baby would look like. <laughs> I mean, really, you know, you look at the size comparison. Um, you know, I mean, obviously this has got smaller wheels and, uh, you know, a smaller deck. And it's like super light, which I'll share with you later on some specs so you can see. But... You know, I mean, these guys are, you know, <laughs> they got the color code correct, but man, what a difference in size. I mean, look at these wheels difference, right? I mean, this is like huge, right? And then it's tiny. So I'll have specs, as you guys all know, all right? Um, I will do some tests on this, but I, gotta, I had to show you that, you know, side-by-side -side comparison. That was uh, funny. All right. So let's just take a look here. So we do have that one hand height adjustment. Now I'm going to tell you, this is not made for high grass. All right. I'll just, you know, later on I'll share with you specs, but you know, these little guys here are made to kind of maintain a lawn. Um, if, if you're getting, uh, your grass is too high, this is going to be some trouble. All right. But you do have that one hand height adjustment, which is nice. And you just automatically, you know, very simple. It's super light. You know, just that one hand. I mean, obviously it's so light that I have to hold it down, but you do get one, two, three, four, five, okay? So we'll go over the height settings in a little while. Again, 16 inch deck, polycarbonate decks. Um, I'll go over the wheel sizes uh, in a little while. If you're wondering if this handle folds, it does. What you need to do is just open this up all right, and then uh, this pops out of place, you see? 
just kind of pops out of that joint, that groove there. And you do the same thing with the other side. And these are plastic, folks, so you do get a warranty, all right? You do get a warranty. We'll go over the warranty and everything later on. We'll go over the specs later on. It'll probably be easier. But um, you got to pop these out, and then your handle just will lay down like that, okay? It doesn't look like it gets caught anywhere, you know? So that's how it's going to lay down, just like that. Now, I did that so I could take the bag off real quick and show you the mulch plug. So the bag, you do have a metal, uh, you know, frame, but then it's laying on plastic. Again, this is an inexpensive mower, right? So it's plastic in here and plastic here. So, you know, this is going to lay on top. No issues. Very easy to put on. Take our bagger off. You got to see this mulch plug. I mean, really, it's like the cutest thing. <laughs> Look at that. That's it. That's your mulch plug. A tiny little thing. But there you go. So, you're going to mulch. You put your mulch plug in, close your door. Now your spring here seems pretty nice and strong, so it's gonna hold that mulch plug in place, so I like that. Now the handle doesn't lock in place, so just be aware. You do get a nice handle here if you're gonna lift this up, and this is super light, so you're just gonna grab it from the front and bring it where you wanna bring it. I couldn't do that with the Greenworks Pro 60 volt, I promise you. To close the handle, lean it back, It'll slide into the joint, take this, lock it in place. I don't know if these are going to break. It's hard to tell long term. You know, Greenworks has been making some good products. Again, pop this into place, lock, and, and it does hold, seem to hold the handle. Again, I'm going to mow with this, so we're going to find out what it's made of, okay? The 4 amp hour battery, 40 volt, does have a fuel gauge, does need to be charged, okay? But let's take this and put it in like we always do. So we open this up, and it is spring-loaded. It'll close on its own. You take this, and it looks like a little spot up top where the battery slides in, and I would think there goes a little click. All right, take it back out, pull. And let's see how difficult that is, being that the mower's light. Not bad. This little latch here when you pull down. So it grabs really good, though, I'll tell you. So there it goes. It's in there. Now that's kind of cool. I'm wondering if it works, if you could see the, the fuel gauge while you're mowing, because that's clear. That'll be interesting to see. Okay. Now, I don't know if I have enough juice to start this, but to start it, all you need to do is push the start button in, and pull the, the bar. Okay, now we'll find out about the RPMs during startup. I'll go over that with the specs as well, but pretty easy to start. I will say though, I guess this is the cable that organizes these wires, okay? So they do have uh, some, let me zoom out. They do have a little cable management here, but this is kind of odd. But I guess it does its job, right? So these are rubbery, flexible. You just take your cable, you slide it right in, and you're ready to go. All right. Brooklyn's pretty interested in this mower. She likes the size. Right, Brooklyn? Yeah. We take the battery out. Again, this can be a little challenging because it's kind of like weird but it comes out <laughs> you know I'm, I'm also holding a camera so don't mind me I took the battery out because I figured let's take a look at the blade on the bottom and you always want to take your battery out when you want to look at your blade now they do sell replacement blades okay but there you go all right I don't, I'm gonna measure the blade and I'll measure the deck coming up in a little while all right but there's the bottom of this little guy here. Let's go ahead and uh, measure the deck and the blade. Um, no battery in there. All right, let's do that. All right, let's start off by measuring the blade. So we've got a 16 inch blade. Now let's measure the deck. 
and see how long we have on the deck. So let's start inside. And uh, we have a 16 and a half inch deck. All right, 16 inch blade, 16 and a half inch deck. So not bad for a little guy. So we took a look at the battery already, and uh, I'm going to find out what other sizes they make this in. I don't know if they make bigger ones for this mower, but I could be wrong. Uh, you do get a charger, your basic charger. I'm pretty sure it's not a rapid charger at that price. And, and again, not bad. Charger manual, battery manual, mower manual, okay? So you do get all that. All right, one thing I don't like is this thing does not have a fan when it charges the battery. It doesn't even have a sound. You hear how quiet it is. Now the charger itself is really warm. I'll be honest with you, it's not hot, but it's definitely really warm. The battery, it feels okay. There's no temperature that I could see. And then, you know, I could tell it's charging because it's on two bars. So this is gonna take a long time to charge, but I'm surprised it doesn't have a fan um, or even a sound as it's charging. All right, so we've got the 40 volt 16 inch here. Now this section is cut uh, up to four inches. I just took this and cut it to four inches using the uh, 60 volt Pro. All right, now this is at its highest setting of three and three eighths. I just wanna see what happens and then I'm gonna continue to lower it and cut and see what happens, okay? Starting this is pretty easy. You just uh, push the button in, pull the bar. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but this thing supposedly RPMs up to 3,550, uh, and, and then it lowers itself. That, it's called a no load. RPM, so it starts high and then goes down. Um, what I will do is I'll put a little note here on the exact no load RPM, but I'm going to do it again so you can hear it. Push the button. And there you go, it dropped. So let's just see if it cuts anything. No, I'm not feeling it cutting anything. All right, so I don't feel it cutting anything. I'm going to pull it back and drop it. And then I just want to see how it handles, you know what I mean? Like, does this choke uh, sooner than most mowers? You know, it is 40 volt, right? So let me go here, bring it back, and then we'll drop it one. And I wish I knew the increments. Um, <laughs> But let's drop it to four. Let's drop it to four, okay? Oh, boy, I think that's going to be a cut right there. All right. Now, I'm not going to lift the mower. I'm going to see what happens. You know, some of these mowers, you have to lift them and then start them. I'm not going to do that with this. So push the button. All right. All right, it's cutting. I don't have any strain. It's not cutting anything major. Okay. So, yeah, it cut. You know, it took a little off. You know, obviously, yeah. I mean, I'm not, look, it does its job. I'm not even going to get into mulch. You know, I've got some of this dead straggler stuff going on. You know what I mean? But uh, no issues. I think the goal here in these tests is, you know, does this work, right? <laughs> you know, you think about it, and you're like, oh, I need a 21 inch with, you know, a 60 volt. But now I'm going to go over the same thing in a lower setting. All right, we're going to drop it down to a three. And I will put the height uh, information that I get in the specs towards the end of the video, okay? But again, let's go ahead and see. We're down to three now. Uh, now I'm not going to lift it again. All right. It worked it through. Yeah, it didn't have to lift it. You heard that 
for a minute there. And I think that's why it does a high RPM. So it kind of gets started. So let's go. All right, it, it ramps up on its own. Okay, so listen, I mean, you know, obviously you could see where it cut now, right? Um, you know, and I gotta be careful because I don't wanna cut my lawn too low, but yeah, you could see where it started with that little circle, right? And uh, you know, it did it, it did it. Now here's the, here's the catch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this next to this strip and I'm gonna do the same thing, except guess what? The grass on this side wasn't cut, right? So we're gonna see, again, if this chokes. That's all, we're just doing some basic testing, all right? I'll do a bag test also, because this all this does is mulch and bag. There's no rear side discharge or side discharge. There's none of that. So we're gonna see now, again, this is a little taller, this is, you got to figure, this is uh, four-inch grass here. Four-inch grass. So, and I've got this thing set on number three. Will it do it? Will it work? Will it choke right here and now? So, push the button in. All right, no problem there. All right. You know, I'll tell you something. I'm impressed by this little machine. So I took the four inches and brought it down. I don't know what. Setting number three. So again, I'll include that in the specs at the end of the video. But I'm impressed that it's not choking. It's actually a decently powered mower for the size. You know, and again, this is great for someone that wants something lighter, smaller. They could pick it up themselves. All right, I'm going to remove the mulch plug. And put the bag on, okay? I'll do the best I can with this camera. We're going to open this guy up. And, uh, yeah, we got the bar, but we'll have to... We'll get down there and just take out that mulch plug. Urgh. All right, good. Close. Well, let's put the bagger on now. All right. So it just sits on top of the plastic here. That's the only thing I don't like, but what happens when you're getting something just a little less you know you're just trying to get a value mower right let me put this uh, mulch plug away and then I'll bag okay the bag is on let's see what kind of suction this has I'm left it at setting number three Not bad, you know. It picked up some. It, it picked up most of it. I'm not going to say it picked up all of it. I'm going to go over to the next lane now, and we'll see how it does with that one. All right, again, here's the lane. So I'll come back and look at this too. All right, let's put this in the lane. All right. Okay. Start it up. All right, let me go back. So again, it's a little better. It's not gonna have amazing suction. I noticed the when the RPMs were up, look at this. I mean, this has gotten clean, right? The little circle that was there is cleaned. Um, it did pick up a lot of the stuff. Okay, so, you know, but it isn't gonna have a suction of, you know, pro 60 volt, okay? It's not, but 
listen, it does the job. It's not about a perfect lawn. When you own something like this, you probably just want to get out. You want to get exercise. You want to get your lawn cut. You don't want to pay anybody. So that's what this does. All right, now I'm taking a four inch section and bagging it. All right, that's all I'm doing. There's nothing, it's, it's clean, right? It's a four inch section. Let's see if it just sucks it all in and doesn't leave a mess. Wow, those RPMs definitely help. Okay, no problems there. Um, and, and a little bit of mulch. It did leave a little bit of mulch. It wasn't able to get everything into the bag, but yeah, you could see, I mean, I can definitely see, you know, um, you know, when it cut, and then you can see that it left some here, you know, it left some here, just a little bit, right? But, you know, this grass right now, I mean, you know, the moisture level is decent. It's starting to get real hot, but, all right, you could see here again, some more, some more, all right, so... Like I said, I'll go over some specs so you'll know the wheel sizes and all that stuff. I'll leave specs towards the end. So I took the bag off, and yeah, I mean, there's a lot in there, right, for those two sections. So, you know, it works. It's not perfect, but it works. Not too bad. All right, guys, my fiance is five feet tall, and uh, she was excited about that new smaller lighter mower because you know she doesn't have the strength she says well i think she does but i'm gonna have her push this green works without self-propel you know just to kind of see how it is and then she's going to push the other one and you know we'll get some uh see what she she thinks you know from being a, a five foot person just a little feedback all right brooklyn's watching but uh go ahead you're just going to do a regular push mower All right, let's stop there. All right, we're on this uh, new Greenworks. Let's see what she thinks. All right, go ahead. Just uh... All right, what did you think of that? This one was much easier for me to push. You could huh. tell it's much lighter. All right, so it's lighter, easier to push. Okay, all right. I mean, is that the only difference that you think of? Is the handle comfortable? The handle is more comfortable. Okay, I mean, so it's a smaller mower, and obviously you're smaller, so... It's good for shorter people, elderly people. All right. All right, thanks, honey. I want to follow up on can you see the bars when you turn the mower on. You know, and I'm going to turn it on now. And I'll tell you something, I don't know why, but a moment ago, I saw it turn on. I was able to see the bars on the battery. The second time and third time, I wasn't able to see those lights. For some reason, they didn't turn on on the battery. So, I don't know why, but uh, maybe the mower has to be off for a while before you start mowing for the light to turn on. Because, again, I don't have any lights on there. Again, additional feedback, you know, if someone older is going to use this or whatnot, which I, which I think someone older will, when you go to remove the battery, um, I'm going to use my hand to hold this section down, um, but it is a little stiff to pull out. I'm not going to kid you. I mean, you have to use a little strength to get this out. So, you know, that clip will clip in there. You know, when you push this down, it keeps it in, but you do have to use strength to remove that battery. All right, the model number on this is 25322. 
Now this sells for $299 full price. We bought it for $269 on sale. Again, I'll put some links in the description. Hopefully you'll get a sales price. Um, it is a push mower again. There's no self-propel. Um, it only bags and it only mulches. It doesn't have rear or side discharge. The motor in this is not brushless and the advantage to a brushless motor, motor is it lasts longer. Okay, it doesn't work as hard and it lasts longer, but this does not have a brushless motor. Uh, the no load speed when you turn it on is 3,500 RPMs and then it drops down. I don't know what speed, they don't disclose that. This is push start, you saw that. You just push the button, pull the lever, it starts right up. It's real easy. You don't have to worry about that. With gas, that's a problem, right? Pull, pull with the gas. So. Uh, battery on here is a 4 amp hour battery it comes with, it's a lithium ion battery and um, you know it also comes with the charger so that's not bad. It takes uh, 2 hours to charge, around 2 hours to charge a battery when it's empty and uh, this is made for up to a, a third of an acre. So again it's not made for big lawns and I'll tell you it's also not made for high grass. So if your grass is like 6 inches, 7 inches if you are going to use this, you're going to have trouble and you're going to drain your battery because the, when the motor has to work hard, um, the motor is going to drain that battery quicker. Okay, You, you can, but it, you're going to find you might choke the motor also. Not, you know, it'll, You'll have to start it back up each time. Um, the wheels, the uh, back wheels are 7 inches and it's uh, plastic, not really flexible, it's fine. I mean, it's inexpensive and the front is 6 inches. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, the deck size is 16 inches, and the material is a polycarbonate material. That's how they make it light. All right, all these forms of plastic. Um, height adjustment. So when you're using the one lever here to lift the deck up and down, um, you've got five adjustments. They go from one and a quarter to three and a half. So it's actually not three um, and three eighths. It's three and a half. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the handle, uh, as you know, lays down, which is nice, but it doesn't lock in place. All right, so the other thing is this does not sit up. You know, as you've seen the Greenworks mower, mower, you know, that can sit up and go in a corner. This does not have that function. You could lay it on its side, you know, just be careful and be gentle. It is plastic. Um, there's no gas, there's no oil, so you can do that. But make sure if you lay it on its side, there's no battery inside. Do not store this with a battery in it. Bring your batteries inside under normal temperatures, they'll last a lot longer, okay? Seriously, I've had people put these in their garage uh, or, or their shed where, you know, it, it basically the extreme temperatures and they leave the battery inside and then they wonder why the battery goes bad. Do not do that. Take care of your batteries. Um, and you can get more batteries, so we'll put links in the description for, for this stuff, which is nice. Um, weight on this is 37.8 pounds or 17.12 kilograms without the battery okay now the four amp hour battery is three pounds all right so you add another three pounds on there and you're at 40.8 pounds with the battery so the battery is three pounds or 1.4 kilogram now what's nice i'll tell you is they did increase the warranty so this has a three-year warranty and the battery has a three-year warranty that's really not bad I'm going to spend time now going over pros and I'm going to go over cons, okay? So let's start off with the pros. Number one pro, it's light. I love that. Very light. The second pro is it's maintenance free, right? I mean, really, all you got to do is keep clean the deck underneath and uh, sharpen that blade once in a while. And you can probably bring it to an Ace Hardware. They do sharpen blades. I don't know if they sharpen. Greenworks, uh, but I know they do sharpen like Ego Blade, stuff like that. So check them out. It's worth it. It's affordable, right? That is definitely a pro. This this is $299, and, and we picked it up for $269. So, you know, if you use our links, by the way, in the description, you actually support our channel at no additional cost to you. So think about that. Um, easy to maneuver, right, because it's light, you know, definitely, we were able to move this mower around with no issues, and so that's really nice. It's got a three-year warranty on the mower and a three-year on the battery. Really good, all right? And Greenworks support 
is, is known to be really, really good on their website when you call them. So those are the pros. Let's talk about the, the cons. So again, some of these are part of the reality of the cost of the mower, but I'm still going to say it. So it doesn't have cell propel. So that would be a con. Some people want cell propel, but because it's light, well, that could help that, right? This doesn't have any larger than a five amp hour battery. So if you want a bigger battery, you can only go up to a five amp hour battery. We'll put that in the description if you're gonna get this mower and you want an extra battery. Um, but yeah, it takes a, a lithium battery called a G-Max and the maximum size is five amp. The motor in this thing is not brushless. So, you know, brushless motors last longer. This does not have that, so that would be a con. The battery charger doesn't have a fan when it charges the batteries. Um, and I found the charger getting warm. The battery wasn't too bad, but I do believe it should have a fan to cool that battery while it's charging it. So that's kind of interesting there. You cannot take this mower and put it up on its side and put it in your garage um, because it's not made to do that. Normally, when you fold the handle down, you can lift the mower up. Um, this isn't designed to do that. Can you do? Can you put this on its side somehow? Yeah, because there's no oil or gas, but it's not designed for storage mode, which a lot of battery mowers are, especially the higher price points. The uh, bag catcher, uh, you know, these are plastic. So to me, that's a con because what happens when these break off? You won't be able to put your bag on. So be careful with these. Again, you're paying less money. You know, they have to kind of cut costs somewhere. And then the last con, the fuel gauge, you know, wouldn't always show when I was standing up and looking down. It turned on once, I could see it a little bit, but after that, it wasn't really showing. So it's not really a feature. Now, would I recommend this mower, right? At the end of the day, using this for a few weeks and putting it through its test, I would, I would. I mean, for the price, even at $300 with a battery and everything that you need, if you're looking for something light, you can maneuver easy, it's affordable. Yeah, I, I would rec recommend this mower. So to end this video, right, this is affordable. It's small. It's light. It's got push start, which always works unless your battery's dead. No maintenance. You just have to clean the deck and sharpen your blade once in a while. Or you can bring that to, I think Ace Hardware sharpens blades. I don't know if they do it for Greenworks, but they do. If you have an Ace Hardware, that's pretty cool. And then I love that one hand height adjustment. You know, I also like this handle as well. It's in a good place. You can grab this handle and grab the front of the mower. And as long as your battery's out, you can lift this up and put it wherever you want to. Hey, thumbs up if the video was helpful in any way. If you're new to our channel, we hope you subscribe. You know, we, we try to provide a little bit more detail in our reviews. So we hope you subscribe. And then you can also share our video as well. We would appreciate that. Thank you so much and have a great day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.